this is Pastor Stephen Browers from Emmanuel Lutheran Church coming to you with another devotion, maybe current events edition. Most of you have probably heard by now that the founder of ISIS, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, was killed by the armed forces, the United States Armed Forces, earlier this week. And this guy was a very evil guy, did a lot of very wicked things. And I think it's appropriate that we should feel relief, happiness, uh, that we feel even pride that our military took him out so he can't do any more harm to anyone. I felt the same way when Osama bin Laden was killed years ago. And the question I have is, how does God feel about this? He is a God of justice, after all, and Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi was brought to justice for the things that he's done. So would God be as pleased as we are? Well, this reading from Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 23, challenges that idea. I'd like to read it for you. It says, do I take any pleasure in the death of the wicked, declares the Sovereign Lord? Rather, am I not pleased when they turn from their evil ways and live? That verse is truly challenging to read because it questions what the highest good would be. It's saying that when Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi died, that wasn't the best case scenario in God's eyes. The best case scenario would have been that he would have shown remorse for what he had done, that he would have stopped what he was doing, that he would have turned to Jesus and asked forgiveness for his sins, become a follower of Jesus even, and then have dealt with the consequences of his evil actions. Just being punished, while it might fill us with pride and happiness, God still grieves that this man never came to Jesus for life. As far as we know, this guy just died without repentance, and that grieves God's heart, and it should kind of grieve our heart as well, because the highest good is repentance, not just punishment. So here's a couple thoughts for you to think about. First, when you're thinking of someone in this world who does evil or wicked deeds, when you pray about it, maybe we should not just be praying that they get caught, captured, killed, but that they would repent, come to God for forgiveness so that they might live. And the second thing is, when you're dealing with people in your own life who may have hurt your feelings or done something really evil to you, rather than just hoping that they get what they deserve, again, we want to pray that we might forgive them, that God might forgive them, that they might repent and turn away from the evil things they're doing so that they might live. Again, this is Pastor Stephen Browers from Emmanuel Lutheran Church. I hope to see you this Sunday, 8.30 Contemporary, 10.30 Traditional Service. It is All Saints Sunday coming up, so we'll be remembering those in our community who have died in the past year. Thanks so much for joining me today. God bless you.